Hi, these are my feet. I want to address some uh, potential concerns about uh, forces. Specifically, is the floor really pushing up on me right now? We've made free body diagrams and interaction diagrams that seem to suggest so, but I'm curious if you really believe that. Um, maybe the floor is just in my way, the floor is blocking me, and maybe physicists just use that as a convenient way to say the floor is pushing up on me, as a convenient way to maybe get right answers. So let's address that. Um, first of all, I've got some springs here, and something that we already agree on is if I push a spring, the spring pushes back on me. And the farther I squish a spring or stretch one, then the harder it pushes back. And so if I had the spring vertically and I set something on top of it, then that spring would squish. That's hard to show, so I'll just go sideways. The spring would squish if I set something on top. Um, if I had a larger, thicker, fatter spring, this spring is a lot harder to squish. And so if I set the same object on top of this, if I put that upright, and set an object on top of that, then this spring wouldn't squish. Like if I had the same book sitting on top of this spring, it wouldn't squish nearly as much as this spring would squish with the same book sitting on top of it. I can imagine an even bigger, thicker spring. I don't have one with me right now, but an even bigger, thicker, fatter spring than this one would also squish if I set that same book on top of it but it would squish even less. Likewise, I have here the flimsiest table ever made. It's made out of two meter sticks side by side, and they're just balanced. Uh, they're just placed on top of uh, some cylinders. And if I set this book on top, then you can see that those meter sticks bend down. And those meter sticks bend down just like, say, a spring. As the spring squishes, then it pushes back more. As these meter sticks bend down, the more they bend down, then the harder they push back up. And so these meter sticks, as they bend, then they push back against the book. Now, what if I made a thicker table? So now I've got two meter sticks side by side. So there are four meter sticks total here. And if I set the book on top, then we can see that the meter sticks bend. And as they bend, then they push back to try to get back to their original shape, just like springs do. They bend, but not quite as much. I'm going to add two more meter sticks. And when I add these two additional meter sticks, we think about what we expect to see when I set the book on top. Now you can see that I've got six meter sticks total two side-by-side -side stacks of six apiece. And now we can see that it's bent even less. So the meter sticks still bend, so they still push back. But the thicker and sturdier I make this, I'm calling it a table, the thicker and sturdier it is, the less bending we see. Now, I've got a stack that's four tall. And we can see when I set the book on top, we can see that these meter sticks bend even less. So you can imagine that I could make a really sturdy table, maybe like this table right here. And if I set a book on top of it, then it bends just barely.
like if I had a really sturdy set of meter sticks. They would just barely bend. And I'm making the argument that this tabletop is bending. This tabletop right here squishes. And just like a spring, if you squish it, it squishes back. Because this table is made of molecules. It's a solid, and the molecules are all in this rigid structure. So this is a model of a solid where the red balls are molecules and the springs are bonds in between molecules. So if you try to pull this apart, then the spring bonds, the molecular bonds pull back. If you try to squish it, the molecular bonds push back. Now you know that molecules are way too tiny for us to see, so this is a really blown up version, but if I try to set the book on top, it's just going to squish those molecular bonds. And just like squishing a spring, the molecular bonds push back. And this is something that happens on a molecular level. We can't see it with the book squishing the table and the table squishing the book. But that doesn't mean that it's not happening on a microscopic scale. And that, I think, is how normal forces work. They're molecular bond-sized squishes.